There you see it, Wall Street up 320 points after a whipsaw week on Wall Street. Stocks are ending up. The Dow Jones closing the day up around, as I mentioned, 320 points. You see it there. Hi, everyone. I'm Rena Nine, and today's up and down comes a day after the market entered its first correction in two years, or a 10% drop from a recent high. Just two weeks ago, the three major indexes had reached records. Melissa Armo of, this, of Stock Swoosh joins me now. Thank you very much for coming on. So there was so much concern. I mean, should people be concerned? What do you make of this stretch this past week? I really think that there was a lot of panic for no reason because we had been running up power trending for 14 and a half months, which was very unusual. The market actually never did that. We'd been in a bullish uptrend for quite some time, but we never made as many records as we did in the last year in 2017 and even to start off January 2018. So the fact that we fell for five, six days it's no reason to get nuts. The, the thing is that it happened so quickly. Mm -hmm. And because of that, people went into panic mode. Yeah. And they said, oh my gosh, we're doing a correction. Mm. Melissa, if you don't have skin in the game, let's say you're not at all invested in the stock market, what do these highs and lows mean for you? Really, it just means that are we holding the uptrend or are we bearish? Should you sell stocks if you're in it or if you're not in it, should you buy? And when is the time to buy? Mm -hmm. So for people who are invested long-term in 401ks, they're doing fine. Mm -hmm. If you were in the market in your 401k back when Trump was elected in November 2016, you're up. Even with the drop off a little bit in the last couple of days, you're still up. So again, don't panic when you're up, panic when you're down. Mm -hmm. So there's no reason to panic. If you're not in it at all, wait, you may have some opportunity. You may be able to actually buy in, not yet. Mm -hmm. Wait until the selling has stopped. Wait until the market gaps up. Wait until you actually start to see some buying come in from institutions again, which which is not yet this week. So that's your advice, If, if when it dips, when do you buy? People always ask that. You don't buy in the dip. You wait to the dip. He stops. How do you know that, though? That's the thing. People feel like they never know when it's going to bottom out. Well, if you look at every day this week, we either sold off or we gapped down and opened lower. Wait till we stop shaking around like that. There's been way too much volatility this week to go in and say, I want to risk the farm in this. It's too crazy. There's people selling, there's people buying. You had a big bar of buying on Tuesday, and those people, it broke through the low. So they lost. It was way too soon to get in. Mm. Wait, wait a couple of days, wait a couple of weeks, wait maybe a couple of months. Mm -hmm. I mean, I still think that 2018, you're not even going to see the implementation with the tax reform just started. You're going to see good earnings with companies, strong companies, and the market's going to see more big moves later in the year, going into 2019, 2020. There's no reason to jump forward so quickly and then get in a panic mode about it. You know, there was a sell-off early on today. We ended in positive territory, but do you think that has anything to do with the president signing in this spending bill at some point? Is there a way to gauge that? Well, you can say that they passed it, and if they hadn't, would we have dropped more? I still think we had a weak day today. I know we rallied in the close, but it was only like the last 60 minutes. We really had an overall bearish week in the market, which is the first we've had in 14 and a half months. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but that was an anomaly. Yeah. Nothing goes straight up in a line up forever, just like it's not going to go straight down. Mm -hmm. Eventually, we're going to situate ourselves, find a level. And like I was saying, wait until the market is showing strength for a couple of days. Green, 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 green. You get up, you're talking about it and you're reporting every day and saying markets up, markets up, markets up. That's the time you want to start to get back in. People always jump the gun a little bit too soon. I think they're afraid they're going to miss it. And then they panic when it drops off. I told you a week ago I wanted to sell everything. I'm not going to be greedy. I'm just going to cash in now. But they, they tell me I'm too young. I need to wait it out. You're fine. You're fine. There, the fundamentals in the market are good. Yeah. The technicals in the market are good. Yeah. There's no reason to think that we're lower anytime soon. The market is so far away from being bearish, it's not even funny. When, when the market turns bearish is yeah. when we get up in the morning and the market is gapped down huge overnight. When you see pre-market selling, which is institutions dumping their shares big time by millions of shares in the pre-market, and then we run red, that's when you should panic. And that didn't happen. We sold off in the day. That's selling, but it's not a panicky selling. An overnight pre-market, big gap down with a big red bar, that I don't want to see, and I hope doesn't happen for a very long time. <laughs> yeah. Melissa Armo, great advice. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. This afternoon, President Trump delivered a show